All right, so here we're gonna be unboxing this Viser Cool Anywhere 31 CFM for 950 square foot unit. These come in variable sizes. It doesn't just come in this size. You can get it in um, a size for 1500 square feet. You can go all the way to like, you know, 5,000, 7,000 CFM. So let's open this up. So the first thing you notice with this is the size. This is a, uh, this is quite big. This is not that small. But that's because it can move up to 31,000 CFM of air. It can also be coming with a 10.3 gallon reservoir, which is larger than most of your traditional um, evaporative coolers. The functions, the buttons are right here. You're gonna come with your on off switch. Your fan is gonna have three variable fan modes and your swing, this is the oscillation right here. It is showing that it is about 97, 38 um, relative humidity. Here is the cooler. You put in the water through this port and I added in our ice that way. You have your three-sided evaporative wicks here. So you have one side here. You have your back panel. And you have your second side. So now let's turn it on for the first time. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we are going to turn the pump on. We're gonna turn the fan on. It's the temperature reading out is about 78.9 degrees, right? 78.9. And that's the temperature that you're gonna experience on the airflow. The pump is on, fan is gonna let me feel this kind of cool air. It's about 75, 78 degrees, which is about 20 degrees cooler than the ambient temperature. And that's a substantial, that's a substantial cooling experience, especially if it's really hot outside. I feel much cooler. If I put it on medium, this can move a lot of air. If I put it on high, this is gonna be moving a ton. The question you might have right now is how long is this going to last for? How long will this evaporative fan work? Now we've we've added just about 10 pounds of ice and two Vitamix pitchers, about two gallons of water in here. And it has barely risen our reservoir above the two gallon mark, about two, three gallons here. So we didn't add that much water, but I can already tell you that we've operated this for about 20, 25 minutes and it is still cool it's still blowing cool you still have the ice in there frozen and we'll turn everything back on just to show you and this is an entire turbine i mean look how big this fan is this is built so you can cool your outdoors and if you have to in your indoors this is going to be for your larger rooms as well so check it out i think this is something you might want to consider if you're looking for a non-ec unit that is an evaporative cooler this is how you drain it you have your draining port on the bottom there are your wheels that you can attach to it to roll it around because this is going to be a, well this is for its size it's extremely light it's very light but let's fill up this reservoir let's fill it up with some ice and cold water and underneath you'll see that there is a draining hole all the way on the end here and on the end you just have to pop this out And it's going to automatically drain all the liquid in the reservoir. And this this liquid is ice cold. Ice cold. Let's not waste all of it. Let's keep it running. 